last year i think there were only four good house parties you know what i mean and like yeah. one of them was mine you know what i mean true so i just felt like, <laughs> yeah, like you very like you very much represent to the kids what a man should end up being like right what's yes. a man to you bro like what are you trying to teach these Ooh. kids like what's a man to you so out of all your friends who do you think is the biggest man based off of that it would have to be love or okay. what do you think you're gonna fall in love just that's the final question do you think just daddy g is open to falling in love well i know you're open to it do you think you'll fall in love in the next two years we be speaking we're having a conversation and somehow i don't know how i open up my google drive and then it shows photos of my matric dance and she goes oh no i couldn't go to matric dance like i i had like a thing right and i heard that and i was like oh, okay cool did i not plan like i made my entire flat to move all the furniture to like the one room there and i made the entire flat the matric dances for her and i true story i swear my i swear my father's life it's a true story <laughs> you don't fuck with me <laughs> 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 okay <laughs> fine i swear my mother's life it's a true story okay. i swear toddler's life it's a true story it's a true story, <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> Welcome back to Seated with Level and Tato Rampede. It's your favorite time. So guys, grab your favorite seats and come join us on this podcast adventure. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. The podcast is all about life in our 20s. We basically navigate everything we have been dealing with in the past couple of years for me and two years for you. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today's a very special day. We've got I just think, that day. I just think, that day, <laughs> I think when you guys say life in your 20s, you say life in our late <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay well yeah. anyways today's a bit different we've got just daddy g got someone raining in the, someone in the early 20s okay early 20s <laughs> raining from the corners of 202 thousand followers on instagram 131 thousand subscribers on youtube first account and by special request he's also told us to include the numbers <laughs> of his second channel <laughs> just daddy g with 103 thousand followers on uh, his vlog channel, yeah. and of course TikTok, the last one being, I want to guess this one. I want to tell you guess this one before I see. I want to see what you think he is. Two thirty. Two thirty. Yours way too high. I'm on like one seven four. He yeah. is on one seven two thousand on TikTok. So welcome, yeah. just Daddy G. Yeah, glad to be here. But like, <laughs> listen, look here, I've beef with you guys. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I we mentioned you every podcast. So we know. Nah, not even that. Eh? I remember. You guys always like, nah, you guys don't watch my podcast. I don't wanna. The first episode I ever watched, man, I heard, Ish, you know, one of my boys can't pry, dude. Like, <laughs> listen, listen. That was Sato. I said you, you know could. I heard, you. you know what I heard? No, it wasn't me. You know what I heard when I watched that? Yeah. It was both of you. You said it, and then you agreed. <laughs> you, guys, you guys started off like 2000s can't pry. Cool. Then you're like, yeah, one of my boys, he definitely can't pry. You and, know what I heard? And he's I been praying ever since. You know what I heard when I watched that? I heard. Hunt is not a man. Nothing else. Nothing else. But uh, yeah, but today is one of our favorite ones. We usually don't have uh, someone to interview. So yeah. we'll be making it sort of like a conversation, you know? Yeah, so the cool thing about like Hunter is that obviously he is our friend. You guys know we yeah. launched a brand new channel together. It's called Esmajita. It's yes. us three yeah. and our boy Percy. So it's like talking to one of our boys, which is really cool. And we've done this before, like six months ago. We lost the footage. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool. The sound, yeah, the sound the corrupted. Sound corrupted yeah. yeah. It's going to be a fresh new conversation. We're still going to be breaking Ash with a bunch of new tweets, but I feel like we know him so well, so we're going to be trying to like, want to dig Get away from that. Get deep in, yeah. And make his experiences as a content creator, his experiences as a man in his early 20s <laughs> um, <laughs> a conversation because we've been seeing him go through a lot, man. Yeah. Like, I've got so many questions about love because I feel like, Yo. Yeah, I'm just so the curious. main theme of so your curious. life, no? Yeah. Secondary, I want to say, secondary theme of your life is relationships, no? Yeah. I'm very close with Konze. We we go a couple of years back, two years <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, anyways, let's start with our favorite question. How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think because obviously you're an honorary guest on the podcast. Ooh, wow. You can you can take <laughs> us away and tell us how are you, how's your week? Like, any advice you want to give? No, no advice? Yeah. Um. So my week's been great, you know, um... For those that don't know, I just came from a crazy party. I started an events company recently with my boys. Um, it was amazing. Everything worked well. And yeah, advice, I just, uh, I know it's cliche, but everything happens like when it's supposed to. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like life lines up where, when it's supposed to. Like if things aren't working right now for you, then that means they're not supposed to work yeah. right now. It doesn't mean that later they won't work. Like it's just preparing you for later. You know what I mean? 100%. 100%, yeah. yeah. I want to speak on that. Like, Hunter just launched, it's called Just Events, right? Just Events, So yeah. it's basically, he's been seeing the lack of 
just events. Do you want to explain it? Just events um, that have culture and just are a good so, time. Yeah. So the main, our main focus right now is house parties because I feel like, bro, it's been so long since I've been to a good house party. Every time someone's like, yo, Jens, there's this house party. There's a 99% It's going to be lame. You're going to get there and it's whack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 16 year old. Like yeah. last year, I think there were only four good house parties. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. one of them was mine. True. So I just felt like. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we interview just that you know, interview Khunze. Throw away what you think of what Khunze is. Yeah. One of them is my. Yeah. Nah, being real, like, like, yeah. yeah, the club is cool. Yeah, Chilas is yeah. cool. But not every time, you know. Yeah, but you not know, every I want, time. like, that, that, like, fresh experience. Yeah. I don't want, like, all this pressure from, like, uh, if you're buying bottles, then you the guy. You know what I'm saying? Money, like, yeah, money is a big factor in life. You yes. know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't, like, I don't like going places where it's, like, if you don't have money, you're, you're done. You know you're done. Yeah, you don't even get to have an experience. Yeah, it should be about you. It's yeah. like, yo, bro, if you're a lit person, you know what I'm saying? And that that's something changeable, like, and you can be lit yeah. for different people. Yeah. I might not find you lit, but someone else is going to definitely find you lit. And now with the club, it only opens you up to whether you lit or not. If you don't have money, nothing else matters. You know, what yeah, I, mean? I could true. be the lamest person ever, but if I have money, I'm up. I could be the yeah. latest person ever. But you're having that experience have of your life. Yeah. So I get it. So the just events is like giving everyone the experience of being like that person of the money and everything, right? Yeah, so everyone gets to experience it. Yeah, yeah. I get that. That's so fine. Ask, how are you gonna differentiate like your house parties and just events to what's what's already existing? I mean, already I can hear you speaking about the gap in the market. But now, how are you going to cultivate and design your, your house parties? So I was like, it's not only going to be house parties. Our main focus is house parties right now. But it's just like, it's just about experiences. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like every time it's something different. Like no matter what happens, like every time you're going to leave there and be like, yo, that was fire. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect it. Or like, you know, we're also like thinking of picnics, pool parties, all of that. Like yeah. just things that are just a great time. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yes, there's festivals, there's all of that. Maybe we'll see that in the future. But for now... Everything that people are always just like, ah, dude, there's nothing ever to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. We just. That's Saturday. Like, yeah. We Where you bored and you're waking up in the morning, you're like, yo, what's happening today? You check four club posters. Instead, you know, just events might be having the picnic oh, or man. pool party of the entire. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So it's more about experiences, you know? Nice, nice, nice. How, how are you? Yo, how am I? I had the I had such a hectic week. Yo, like, it was very hectic. Every single day, you know, eight to five. Um, after that, you know, we, we have a couple of meetings there and there, left and right to my manager about this other thing that we're closing and then, uh, you know, also the podcast and things. So I've been feeling quite tired. Like I've been feeling like I haven't been really giving myself time and myself an individual like outside, you know, like my, my boys and outside, outside the content and outside relationship, you know, like just me as my own individual, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I've just been feeling quite tired, like very, very tired, you know? I get that. I feel like it's so hard to balance like oh. work and then a content, relationship and then, content, and then side hustle and, and then, then friendships. Business. Yeah. Like, yeah even yesterday it was the first time on a Friday where I think I would do all my shit, went to like work at a work oh, event, yeah. hosted something, got back home and I just chilled and played PlayStation. And, it was, and, and it I was, was like watching Netflix out yeah. I was just like, yo, I'm chilling like by myself. Yeah. Side note, that's why like I feel like in life, low key now, nah, there's just too many things for one person to do, bro. Like you can't like cook, clean, focus on your mental health, um, do your job, do your side hustle, chill, like mend all the relationships with your friend, go to church, like all of that stuff. You know what I mean? So the the tasks that both people can do, you need somebody else to like, you know, you guys split them. Sometimes I do these, sometimes you do those, you know what I mean? Just to make it life a bit easier. No, like, what are you actively doing now in your life to like balance the work, the girlfriend, the friends, the I family? I think, I think with the man, like, with management and stuff, and like trying to get myself like some sort of management and like trying to like basically do the tasks that take too much time and alleviate that for myself. But at the end of the day, you don't know how to do something until you truly do it. I think that's that's the thing. Like, I won't know how to balance until I figure it out. I, I don't know if I'm making sense. So just being patient with myself and just saying to myself, like, yeah. But you didn't even answer. How are you? Yeah, uh, I'm good. Uh, my girlfriend came back today. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more than happy, bro. Uh, Work-wise, I'm not really happy because, like, I haven't sent an invoice in a very long time. <laughs> like, I've been thinking about it, like, my business account, I'm, I'm paying salaries, I'm paying everyone, <laughs> but there's no money in. So I'm just there like, hmm. But I know like by the grace of God, it'll all come when, in, like, in its own time. Like I feel like it all just needs timing. And maybe God needs me to take a woe and actually look at my life and not think that I'm too comfortable because maybe he wants greater things for me. Mm. You know when the money is flowing too much, you're just living. You just, you're just going back to back. Going. But now when there's a pause and it's like, okay. Realignment. Just, yeah, you have to realign yeah. and be like, okay, cool. 
maybe I should put more time into this thing. Maybe I should remove uh, these all of these leisure events I do in a mm. week. Because yeah. like us as friends, I feel like yes, seeing of your friends weekly is very important. But I feel like we see each other in ways that are so expensive every week. Yeah. Like yeah. we're all taking like spending so much money every week and to yeah. link. And obviously it's because we want to live the best life and have the nicest things, which is very fair. But now that is taking away from my work weeks because my Monday I'm a bit drained. Tuesday I'm working full. Wednesday we're bowling. Cool. Thursday, but then like I'm just... And then it's the weekend again. It's the weekend again. So it's like my weekends are feeling longer than my work weeks. Yeah. yeah. And that was becoming a problem for me. So I think the lack of invoices is also making me calm down, take a step back so I can really think about like, okay, cool. What am I trying to do? But in terms of the team, like Rambiri Meters dude is doing really amazing. Like I know a lot of people don't really believe in the company and think that like we're just chancing and that we're not doing a real thing, but like proudly working with a lot of people, a lot of skill sharing, yeah. got Mbali on like salary every single month, which is really cool. So she's like my first proper employee. My editor's basically on salary because the invoices he sends me are crazy like every month. And it's just really cool. Like just, you know, building, just working with a bunch of different people. I've recently, I've actually, I've announced, I've signed Mummy Dearest as a content creator. I've signed Thought Digest under Rampidi Media's network. And then um, I was meant to sign another content creator, but then I didn't sign her because we saw that there was no alignment. But then there is room for two more people. So it's just like, we're taking people, we're getting them work, which is cool. And it's working because like, Mummy, for example, has gotten two deals in the space of what, a month or two yeah. working with us. Like we're traveling next week with SA Tourism, which is really cool. Went to the MSC with her. And then she's working with a really cool cellular brand very soon. So I was like, okay, cool. I, I still want to do this thing and I'm actually providing exactly. value, which makes me feel really good. So, yeah. That's how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Should we hit to the icebreakers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the icebreakers. So shout out to UJ, just kidding. I was on his page last night and I was like, yo, bro, this guy has so many like conversational posts, like posts that make you engage. So I was like, brother, send me some. So big shout out to him. I'll put his link here. Davies will put his link here or his, his handle. But the first one is facts about hands that smoke weed. I thought like this is such a cool one. We've never <laughs> spoken about like weed or like <laughs> alcohol consumption. But I want to get from you first. Like, what's some facts about hands that smoke weed from your side? So I have like, I have a bit of beef with hands that smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, so my only beef with it is I don't mind, you know, different strokes for different folks. You know, you smoke your weed. I don't mind. Do your thing. But I personally don't really smoke weed like that. Like, I just it doesn't make me feel like how I want to make me feel, mm. so I, I stay away from it. But every time I'm with a girl that smokes weed, mm. she always makes me smoke weed. And like, <laughs> and like when it comes to like the person I'm with, ish, my backbone gets a bit you know, <laughs> like a shade. So when she's there, like, oh, please come smoke with me, please come smoke with me, I'll say like no twice, and then the, if oh, she the asks third, it third time, I'm just like, fuck it, just and a man, yeah. saying, like, <laughs> just a boy, and then I hit that blunt, but. Other than that, I don't really have a ha problem with hands that smoke weed. It's more gents that smoke weed. Like, yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah, of gents yeah. that smoke weed, 10% of them are fine. You know what I'm saying? But that 90%, it's one, nice. the weed becomes your whole personality. Two, Drum. you just, I don't know, you just become dusty, bro. Like, Ooh. like, like, hey, man, you can, basically, you can see someone that smokes weed. Bro. <laughs> if, if, if I was like, if I was a heavy weed smoker, man, the moment someone says, oh, no, I can see you smoke weed, I have a problem. Like, mm. my lips are black, my, you know what I'm saying? Are my, you saying, are you saying that, like, like, smoking weed is the first level to becoming a powder? <laughs> Step one. Low key. No, no, don't say that, don't say that. Online. Don't say I'm that. just saying, I'm just <laughs> no, saying. No, 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 low key, low key. Just, maybe from the, the gents I've met that smoke weed, most of them became like dusty. And the thing is, yeah. even, oh, but maybe, maybe that's just what they enjoyed. The, whole time. <laughs> just the, the weed yeah. let them know that. But even I knew people that didn't smoke weed and then they started smoking weed. Yeah. And that same process started happening. Like they just start taking, stop taking care of themselves. They stop cutting their hair like yeah. frequently. You stop like caring about how you dress. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like and cutting your hair frequently is actually very important. Yeah. It? Yeah. That is, bro. Imagine you see me and I haven't had a fade in two months. <laughs> <laughs> two months? Wait, two, like I'm looking like a mess, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, dude. What's your... Yo, so real, yo. What's your, what's, what does the tweet say, actually? I think for me, it's weed. like, yo, hands are, hands, hands are smoke weed, right? Oh, I won't lie, nah. Those hands are like, yo, guys, let's not lie. Those girls are conversationalists, man. Yeah. So she'll, be yeah. Telling you, she'll be telling you, like, yeah. how, the, like, how, like, when you grow up in a certain way, it affects when you grow up. And, like, you know what I mean? She, It's, like, kind of like sitting with, like, a therapist. I don't know if I'm making it sense. Is. This one girl who smoked weed, she told me, she's like, dude, randomly, she's like, life is like a... Like a Ferris wheel that mm. got off the hinges and it's going downhill. Huh. 
there's a you can turn it now you can turn it left you can turn it right but no matter what you or you can let go of the wheel but no matter what happens the wheel keeps turning <laughs> i was there like <laughs> who are you <laughs> bro very have you ever had one of those moments ever with the goal like that yeah so a lot of the goals that i know especially like from my friends that smoke weed they like they're great listeners uh, and they're great conversation literally but also at the same time like i think they they are also like in denial that they're addicted to weed like, yeah fact, true like a fact about people that smoke weed you guys true. are in denial that you're addicted to weed true because you always say i'll stop when i want to stop you can't but you stop. never stop because when you stop you you go crazy yeah so uh-huh. i really think that people that smoke weed are addicted and then it's okay to be addicted but then they're in denial that they're addicted yeah i don't like that whole conversation like especially on twitter you'll see it like when people will be like no nah, i'm not addicted to weed i'm not addicted to weed it's just like I could, what, do, what do people that are addicted say like the most that they'll be like um like what you said i can stop at any time yeah um no, dude, it's not because I, I I'm like productive I, when I do it. I'm productive. They'll give you like a positive. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I can I study better. Yeah, I can focus I more. Zone in. Like, what are you saying, what bro? Are you saying? Zone in it's how, crazy. Bro. Yeah, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So let's go into what people have said here. Yeah. Some people said, um, they are our brothers. <laughs> oh, the hands of the smoke. Real. <laughs> What? Facts, yeah. They Facts be like, goes or smoke weed, they yeah, low key, they be chill as shit. That's what, but that's what I'm trying to say. People that smoke weed, low key, are like the. The nicest, most fun people are to be around. Yeah. Someone said they're the most adorable hands. Oh. The ones I know that smoke weed are low key hard niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Like some of them are like, I say, shop <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they can't be with the guy that doesn't smoke weed too. Yes. What? No, no, no. That, that. Yo. Bro. Like, no. oh, that's just, so it says we can't be with the guy that doesn't smoke weed too, or we'll end up making them smoke weed. Yes. No, that's, that, that really that, does that's happen. what I was experiencing when that, I was. It does happen. That. Apparently they rounds of fire. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but okay, okay. But let's yeah. let's do this. Let's do this, dude. Okay, cool. If you guys had to like now picture and describe a girl who smokes weed, describe her. Like, uh, what is she wearing? I'm thinking of like like a sweatpants, like ch- chakra so. hand. Type yeah, of I'm thinking of like chakra hand, baggy jeans. Like mm. she has like pearls on her thing, but they're different mm. colors. Each mm. one is a different color. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? She got rings. She got rings. Tattoos, yeah, she's got a whole bunch of bracelets on. Yeah, she's got like. Dr- not dreads, but like her hair is like nappy. Is nappy the right word to use? Nappy, I don't know about like nappy. Like messy, like her, her hair is like natural. But no, but like it's, 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 her hair is like messy, but like in a neat way. It's like yeah. made it messy on purpose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's like, mm. it's got that Zendaya thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly That's it. what I'm saying. Yes. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what Yeah. yeah. Shout, Shout out to Euphoria. <laughs> Shout out to Euphoria for real. Oh, yeah. The next one. Okay, so this one is for the ladies, now. Ladies, what is the sweetest thing a gent has once done for you guys? So because we're all gents, I can make it for you guys. Like, What's the sweetest for, thing for we've us? ever done? Yeah, the sweetest. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Cool. The sweetest thing you guys ever done for This is funny because um, earlier on, Sia, one of our, com- like one of our close friends. Kunza's manager. Man. Kunza's manager um, said um, that Kunza's more romantic than me. right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but it, so he's here. He's here. He's behind the camera, <laughs> and he's just there, like, oh yeah, close friend. Oh, okay, anyways, um, manager, <laughs> manager. Uh, I can see that too. But anyways, um, he said uh, Hunza's obviously more of a lover boy than me, right? Oh no, you, no, he Hunza says he believes he's more of a lover boy than me. So I want to hear what's your story, bro. I'm Let's actually compare, and then we'll okay. choose who wins. Can, bro. can we ask them to first comment down below who they think? In, in yes, order? yeah, yeah. Like comment down right now, like in, in the order, order. Three being this person two being that person one right. being that person one being so let's do it for the one two three i already know like like from what they're gonna say i'm in everybody's list i'm the least romantic because yeah. like based of how like when people see me it's like you know what I'm saying? okay but like what Remember, is the most romantic thing you said now we can prove the, the most. most romantic thing in recent Done, yeah. times or like overall since the beginning the whole of whole life. life so um yo but things this story is from six years ago so like i don't like but okay like, can we do top three you Just top two, it. top go, two. Go we'll do, we'll all do two. Okay, so the one I did like, hmm, the one, yeah, the one I did a few months ago. So, oh no no, let me do what I did last year Valentine's Day. So last year Valentine's Day, oh, that's a good one. I was with this girl, cool. She, I remember in passing, she told me her favorite <laughs> song. I don't remember what it is now, but like, yeah, she told me her favorite song, and then she always told me. She used to say, what did she used to always say to me? She used to say, um. Be present or whatever. And she always used to be like, yo, Hunter, you're not present. Or like, be present. Mm. So what I did for Valentine's Day, 
I got a plaque made with a picture of her. You know what I'm saying? It was like, like I edited the picture and everything. Boom. Put the picture on that. You know those shout out my boys at Golden Plaques. So you know that those Golden Plaques thing with the song titles. So the song was, was her song. favorite song. Yeah. And then the, the artist, I made it be present. Mm. Yeah. So I got her that. And then on top of that, mm. I got her like, how many was it? I think it was 60 Red Roses. Mm. And then I also took her to like a dinner, you know what I'm saying? I took her to a dinner, we chopped it up, cool. And then the other romantic thing I did was like, I think I was in high school or first year. So I was asking this girl to be my MD. So what I did, I spoke to her friend to get me a code to where she stays. Boom. And then her friend spoke to the mom, said, yo, there's this boy that wants to ask her to MD. What, 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 what? Please try to get her out the house when we say. So I have inside the States. But at the time, I didn't have a car. I borrowed one of my boy's cars, you know what I'm saying? She used to really like... Um, What's this? What is it? Oh, yeah. It's, she's really like Krispy, Krispy Kreme. So I got Krispy Kreme. I, I played the music from the song. Like, I played her favorite song. It was some song by her. And I played it on the speakers of the car, opened all the doors. And then I lit candles beating up. Like, like from the clubhouse, from the first time she comes outside of the clubhouse, I put candles leading up to the car. <coughs> And then when like and then she got her mom to come out, so what, 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 like her mom got her to come out, to go to the club house, she came, she followed the candles, and at the end it's me with the Krispy Kreme, the song is playing, and then I'm like, yo, we be my, you know what I'm Love saying? Love a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's a good one. That's clean. That's, that's a good one. It's working with what he had because all it's about is Krispy Kreme. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's really That's romantic. Cream and borrow a car from my boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would have said yes. Because I feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just of saying, would you have said this? Hey, would you have said yes? Which you said it is. As the goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> That's very cute. I think for me, I, mine's going to blow yours out in the water, right? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think for me, how what happened... Ago, how long ago was this? Yo, it was a while back, though. Maybe like three years, four years ago. Okay. Uh, so basically what happened is that I was dating this girl, and, you know, we in university and everything, and we, we used to, like, fight and sit in this flat, right? Yeah. And one of the and things when, she... And when she'd say she's hungry, you turn up the music. Yo, that's yeah. your guys' is king. That's your, <laughs> that's your king. You don't but like romantic. four dunk wings, we shared two, two. She has to save one for tomorrow. You know the vibes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, she, so she, we'd be speaking, having a conversation. And somehow, I don't know how, I opened up my Google Drive. And then it shows photos of my matric dance. And she goes, oh, no, I couldn't go to matric dance. Like, I, I had like a thing, right? And I heard that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Did I not plan... Like, I made my entire flat and moved all the furniture to, like, the one room there. And I made the entire flat the matric dance just for her and I. And I got, like, her dress. And then I had, like, roses on the floor and, like, and like music. And, like, a, it was, like, a whole matric. And then she got, like, the prom queen. I had, like, a sachet for her. Like, it was a prom queen thing. What was this for? It was, I can't say it. Right? I can't I say remember, I don't remember What this. year was this? The audio what, was this. It was, it was, it was when I stayed at Yusuf. It was when I was doing my first. I don't yeah, be, I, don't well, doing doing I swear to you, Bob, it was a true story. How did you? I swear to you. I told you he's gonna blow up the water, Listen, right? <laughs> what year of school were you in? I was in my uh, honors. The uh, first time. Stats. Three, four years Stats. ago. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. It's like two years ago. How did you have the money for all this stuff? Oh, dude, come on, be fucking for real. I was balling, boy. I was balling. Yeah, it was two, three years ago. It was like two, three years ago. But you that's know, not the point. The point is, dude. Okay, oh, dog. That's you. not in the point. I got like, a, okay, uh, uh, okay. I'll uh, uh, add I, I extra details. I personally uh, add the extra story details. Is fake because Neville has never mentioned this ever. ever. I swear to you. So many times we've I been. Swear. Listen, listen, listen. La, listen, la, listen, no, la. Listen, have listen. I ever told you the story? What the fuck? Listen, 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 listen. Okay, fine, fine. Listen, I'll listen. say who it was with so you can believe me. We'll cut this part out. Okay. There we go. You believe me now? And keep in mind, I like. And, and I remember she cried. Like, I remember she cried. She cried the whole time because we were slow dancing in, like, by my kitchen and I cooked meal, obviously, whatever. It wasn't really boiling. But that's the most romantic thing I've ever done. It's very beautiful. That was very fire. Come on, G. It's very beautiful. I still it's a true it. story. I swear, my, I swear in my father's life. It's a true story. <laughs> you don't fuck with me. <laughs> 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 okay, fine. I swear in my mother's life. It's a true story. Okay. I swear in father's life. It's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think yeah, right. I think you guys, your guys' stories are dope. I just feel like I have so many. Same. Right? I couldn't even pick one. I I, pick that's one. my number one. But I'm gonna say one that was very cute. I think this was like I was in my second year, or possibly my first year. Yeah. Mind you, there's so many after, but I think this one was the cutest one. There was this girl who really f made me f like understand what love was. It means even making me tear up a little bit. And it's like, dude, she made me feel really, <laughs> she made me feel really, <laughs> really comfortable in like my body, who I am, my personality, like tattoo, yeah, right? Yeah. So what I would do is that like, 
we were doing like a whole bunch of things, but every time she'd leave class, I'd put like a specific type of flower, and then she, that means I'm near her. So when she would leave her lecture room, she'd see like this like flower, which is picked from the garden, but she'd know that, oh, he's near. Where would you leave it? Like, like outside the lecture, like the lecture door. Aren't all the people walking out the lecture hall? No, but it's like, like, so you yeah, see. Uh, how does it work? No, no, no. So is she like the leave, first person? Yeah. No, so I'll stand by the lecture door, then I'll see what's first out of sight, right? So it's like, let's say here's the lecture, leaving the door, and I'd put it by that yellow bag there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You get me? So that she see, also. So what if she didn't see it? So is there like, ever a time where she didn't like, see yeah, it? Do you see how his romance is going down? Because no, it's no, also no, like an investigation. No, no, this is one of those like... No, let me explain to you. So, so in, in, in engineering, there was the Engage program, right? In the Engage program, you would do like an actual module, then you do an additional module. Mm. The additional module only had like 20, 30 people in the class. Uh, so there's no way she class. wouldn't see it because it was like a small class. No, no, but like, so you saying, you saying like, okay, so she comes out of the classroom yeah. and then you put it like there. Yeah, like so one or two, like it wouldn't be one, like there'd yeah. be like... Oh, okay, there'd be a good amount. Yeah. Okay, so... Like yeah, it'll she, be one here, then she'll walk a bit, there'd be another one, oh, walk so a bit, there'd be another one. Okay, okay. And then okay. as she's leaving, I know where she's going, she, like, she'd know that I'm standing by like the wall before she passes. Ah! And she always like look and hope that I'm there. Yeah. And then the one time I didn't stand by the wall, I stood further down, so I'd see her look and then she waited You know, you me. probably gave that girl trauma. Every time she Yeah, now when she sees these roses... Now she's there hoping. There's that one. Yeah, like, they're like, watch. <laughs> so I can't tell my story in DQD. <laughs> right, <I'm sorry. laughs> no, but she gave me trauma because longer story. But yeah. So that's one cute thing I did. Um, recently now, it's coming back. I can't remember what, what it was. I think I hadn't seen her in a while. She came back. I lit up like candles everywhere. Candles leading up to the stairs. What? Flowers. I got like a, Kamu likes conversations. Kamu likes playing yeah. games. So those 30 seconds, they were, I'll try to put up the video on the, on the theme. Yeah. 30 seconds. Oh, you recorded it. Games. Yeah, I recorded it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she walked up. So flowers, like candle dealing up, flowers, games, puzzles. And then we were like having like a Ooh. inside movie mm. night, our favorite foods. Yeah. That's one thing that I did. It was romantic. Um, oh, also I gave her like these vouchers that she could use like every day because I know the type of things that she likes. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, you can get like a full body massage. We can go do this activity. She could pull vouchers whenever. That's fine. Yeah, dude. That's like Cater I've, to her. I've been, I've, dude, I'm 27 on Tuesday. So I know I've done many, many things. you 27 on Tuesday? Did you know? Yeah, that? That's crazy. Your birthday's on the 12th? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. On the topic of love, obviously, Kunzi, you're gracing us with his presence. You're known all across TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, as some sort of like a playboy, so like a lover boy, never in a relationship. If he's in a relationship, we don't really know. Is it her? Or is it her? Or is it... Because you make a video of your girlfriend. I know, because personally, I'm in the... What, is, what we call the inner circle. So... <laughs> what we call the inner circle. Be, I'll be in the inner circle. And I know who you're dating. But the internet, you post a video of a girl. That's the girlfriend. Then you post the ex, you post the crush, you post the thing, and then you do it. So... Just speaking about that, like placing yourself in your love life. How are you right now in your love life? Like, where is your mind at? Just take us through that. Um, right now, like, I just came from a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, yes, a thing. Came from a relationship. Um, so right now, I'm kind of just oh, like... Yeah. I was like, with who? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you say. Yeah, but I'm just taking a break, bro. Because like, yo, dude, like, I just... Yeah, I just needed time for myself, you know what I'm saying? And, like, even, even like, I'm not even really talking to anyone like that, you yeah. know what I mean? Because I just want to, like, right now it's also a hectic point in my life. I need to focus on, like, a lot of business stuff. And, like, I'd be, like, usually I'd be getting distracted by girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm always, you know, like, I'm always in a state of finding the next, like, the love of my life. Yeah. You know what I'm like, I'm always, like, boom, I'm with this girl. I'm like, ah, nah, damn, like, it's not her. Then I, then off, straight after that, I try to find the next girl. So now I was like, let me just take a break from that. And in terms of the video thing, it's like, for me, making a video with someone isn't that deep. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, obviously the internet sees it as like, oh, dude, you haven't made a video with the hun in, like, 20 videos. Now, all of a sudden, it's a hun. That That's your girlfriend. your girlfriend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, people just assume that every girl that I post with is my girlfriend because sometimes the girls I do post with are the person I am with but like not all the time you know what I'm saying so now I post with the person I'm with and then maybe two weeks later I post with somebody else it's like how didn't you just have a girlfriend I still yeah. do but like I'm just posting with somebody else you know yeah saying? you're so you, as you're answering now you spoke about like looking for the love of your life in all of these girls in your mind like how does the love of your life look like like as you're looking for the love as, for them yeah so funny thing I actually know the love of my life um, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just circumstantial. I just can't be with her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. basically, when I'm looking for this love of my life, I'm looking for something that, like, 
obviously not feels the same, you know, but something that feels like like the same the same intensity or the same, you know what I'm saying? So like every time I'm with somebody else, it's like, ah, dude, that's not how it feels with mm. my mom. You know what I'm saying? So that means because that means the feeling. So that she's I'm, the benchmark. Yeah, the feeling I'm looking for is real. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm making up because I'm looking for that feeling or something similar, and I just never find it. Do you not think so. that's an unrealistic expectation that you've set a benchmark of a said person who obviously now is the love of your life? And then now you have to use. Now it's like kind of like, um, oh, you're at a shop, right? Yeah. And you're at H and M. You can you find this jacket at H and M. You're like, mm, you know what? This is a fire jacket at H and M. But let me go to Cotton on Mr. Price and everything else because I'm in hopes of finding that jacket. It's unrealistic. But you see, no, no, no. But that's what I said. I'm not looking for the exact same jacket. I'm yeah. just looking for something similar. A jacket that's as dope. Like if I came right mm. now wearing a jacket, and you're like, yo, that's a dope jacket. I'm looking for that same reaction from a different jacket. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So the jacket is not the same, but. The reaction is, yo, that's a dope jacket. You know what I mean? Let's let's take it back into your earlier days of your love life. The first time you ever felt like you had a gugum in your hat. You know what I mean for a girl. Take us through that. Like, what what, what was that like? Um, like the first time you ever had feelings for a girl. Like, tell us a story. Like, do you even remember? So the first first time, like my first, whole time, I, first. So the first time I ever had feelings for a girl, I was in crash. Now, nah. ah, yeah. listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The story. That's like grade. Zero. So, like, so I'm not even lying. It's grade zero, grade double yeah. zero, and so grade listen, triple zero. This girl. It's the brother's heart has been beating. <laughs> no. <laughs> so there's this. Okay, I'll tell you this one, and then I'll tell you my first like real one. So this crush one, man. There's this girl, bro. I'm just like, yo, my god, she's so dope. But we're always chilling, always talking. And then you know when you're in crash, you're not like a real person. You don't yeah. get how life yeah. works. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, this girl definitely likes me because she'd always come home with me. You know what I'm saying? Good. So, yeah, so after I leave crash. Taking Betty's home in crash. Listen, listen. Like, why? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This is what I guess when it's so true. Do you years. just call the, the kids in, in crash Betty's? <laughs> so listen, two, three years later, man, I see this girl again at my house, man. Yeah. Turns out, so now I'm a functioning human being and I know life and what's going on. Turns out that this girl that I had a crush on is my cousin. That's why she'd <gasps> always come home with me because it was shorter for the thing. She'd come to my mom's house and then my mom's sister would come and fetch this girl from our house, bro. Dude, but yeah, the, f- the first time I actually like had like... <laughs> Dude, you're right. Okay. So the first time I like... So you fell in love with your cousin? Yes. But I didn't, I didn't do him, man. I was in crash. Yeah, I but bro, he's like, man. what? He's five, he's six. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, it's very innocent. But yeah. you fell in love with your cousin. Yeah, I fell in love with my cousin. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. And then Don't the first like time that. after. Family that. ties. <laughs> <laughs> oh Sorry, God. the first time. But the first real time that I. What was the question? The first time I had real feelings? Yeah, like real feelings. Yeah, like the Budum. Yeah. There was this girl, bro. I, sh- I, don't, I can't say her name because. Yeah, so it was, it was before, you know, the one that I'm always yeah, 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 it was yeah. right before her. And funny thing, they were friends. So what? That, the girl before her, nah, I liked her so much that, like, I didn't even know how to speak to her. That's, and that's keep in mind, cool. at this point, I'm in grade 10. Like, now, mm. you know, now I'm cool now. Like, like before, sure. like, primary school, I was lame. Seven, eight, nine, I was starting to become cool. From grade 10, I was cool. I started hitting the gym. I was playing all the sports. I was dope. I was, I was arguably, like, the top littest niggas in the school at that point. Yeah, yeah. So there's this, and like, dude, I talk to girls all the time, bro, girls want me, all that. There's this girl, bro. I liked her so much that, like, I didn't even know how to speak to her. She became mm. my girlfriend and stuff, but even when we were in the relationship, like, I, I didn't know, like, what to say, bro. Like, like, how do, like, like, I could, as soon as she became my girlfriend, I could not have a normal conversation with her, bro. Like, that's how much I liked her, dude. Yo, I'm ch- I think I've had, a f- I've had, a, I had that feeling with, um, crazy enough, bro. You see, my- um, I think so, yeah. She used to give me that feeling, bro. And yeah. it's like, now obviously now we're boys in this yeah. school, But she used to give me that feeling. It's just like, I understand you. I, I, I get that feeling. And I think that feeling only comes like once in a while. But I was in second year, so you're, you're better. Yeah, yeah so I, I have this actual um, theory, right? And maybe you'll speak about it and maybe take, up, take us through also like, you obviously also being an influence and how that affected your love life. But I have a theory that you fall in love at your max, like when you're very young, when you're very innocent, well, like and guys, guys in general. Yeah, guys in general. You fall in love when you're very young. All your boundaries are down. Then the first person disappoints you. So you, the next person you love a little less. And then the next person disappoints you. Well, you do a little less. Yeah, you do a little less. Love a little yeah. less. And the next person, the next person, the next person. Less. So now with you, obviously, with Imagine your relation. From crash, boy. From crash, boy. <laughs> from crash. <laughs> the little less has been coming. <laughs> from crash to being public on, not just, because you have to understand, guys, when we date, for example, you know, if we choose to publicize the person, that's publicizing now. Start posting. 
You don't, I don't know if I'm making sense. Like, it's different from a guy who's posting on his WhatsApp story, hey, guys, I just got a new girlfriend. When Khunse posts, people react. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah, so, I want to say, yeah, continue. So, 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 take us through that journey of, you know, how do you think I'm right? Did you love less and less since Kretsch? Or <laughs> obviously, not since Kretsch, <laughs> but, like, since... I'd say from... So, obviously, I spoke about the girl who I couldn't speak to. Yeah. I'd say since the girl right after her, I loved a bit less. Because with the first girl, the reason we broke up was, like... It was just a situation. Like, it wasn't like a, I did something wrong or she did something wrong. It was yeah. just like, yo, unlucky. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't like disappointed. I was disappointed, but I wasn't like hurt. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, yo, damn, she did me dirty or something like that. So then the next girl, after like everything ended, like it was a thing of like, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't, I was definitely no saint. You know what I'm saying? I also did her dirty, but she also did me dirty. Yeah. And then, yeah, ever since then, like, it's always been that thing of, like, yo, bro. And, yeah, every time I've, I've tried to love a hand where I was just, like, once I passed that turn point, I'm just, like, actually, let me just do a real thing. You know what I'm saying? They always, like, disappoint or, like, like yeah. I just get, like, fucked over. Yeah. So now, subconsciously, I have this thing. Anytime with, I'm with a girl, I'll be, like, I can only give 70% because every time I shy 100, it that's, when, fail. that's when it fails. That's you know trauma. Mm. It's the trauma of it. But the thing is, yeah, there's the trauma of it, but keep in mind, it's happened four times. So now yeah. it's, like, What's the main denominator in all these things? As soon as I said 100%, it chide. So now I'm just like, and bro, you know how a heartbreak can really shy you, but you won't even eat, you won't even mm. make videos, you won't even nothing, mm. dog. And I don't know that feeling. Like when, For me, mm. the feeling of being in love, it's here. But the feeling of like being heartbroken and all of that, it's here. So I prefer, I prefer, the stability. I never feel this, mm. so I can never <laughs> feel this. You know what I'm Yo, saying? That man said the common denominator was the 100%. No, the common denominator was you. In all those stories, in the four but relationships. You know, but you know, a man, bro, like a man, like we learn so fast, bro. Once we experience true pain, yo, man will do anything to not experience that pain ever again. Ever again. So I think like, if, I, I, if I went through it, he went through it, I'd do the same thing. What's the worst thing you guys can answer this question? What's the worst thing you've done after a breakup? Just to feel like some sense of like, because I'll, I'll go first. Your leg back, basically. Yeah, yeah, like what's your, because I feel like with men, right, when, especially when a woman disappoints them, they want to prove to the woman, the counterpart, you didn't disappoint me, I'm fine. You understand? Like, with women, it's the thing of like, nah, if their life's in a mess, it'll be like, nah, you know what? I'm sad. Like, I can say it out loud. This guy hurt me. With men, it's like, nah, it wasn't that bad. Like, it was okay, but it dead ass broke you. What's one thing that you guys did? Can I go first so you can just get a scale oh, yeah. of. Yeah. I once, after this girl broke up with me, nah, I wrote in a book and I, I wrote a book and I tore the page I put on my wall. I was in res. Stayed the whole year. It said, never fall in love again. Oh, one of those things. So I, I, I said to myself, Never, I said, never fall in love again. Never forget. Never forget. And boy, I used to do push-ups in front of that thing. <laughs> like mm. I was in prison. <laughs> that's so that's, so that's, that's, that's the type of things I'm trying to say. Oh, so not, yeah. not like... Not like a not bad evil. Yeah, someone, yeah, but yeah. Just like It can be, it can be if you want to say, but yeah. I, I think we'll go with Tato first, honestly. I was trying to think about my recent breakup. What did I do? Bro, I think... Oh, nothing. I can't think of anything, bro. Mm. I think I just maybe... Like, I was just going out too much, but that's not even a... It can be. It can be. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know with, like, with my... Long ago, like, four four relationships ago, I got with her best friend. Yo. Jesus. Like, I, like oh, the whole squad. Yo. Yo. Jesus. Cruise Christ. love, yo. Like, I took them all out on dates. Yo, oh, oh look, they, they know, like... But that's because she, like, kind of... Like, we broke up, and then apparently she was cheating on me the whole time. But, um. like, I was never confirmed. <laughs> Yeah. So I said, nah, fair it. So you had a sense of revenge? Uh, it gave me now, yes. You know, at the time I was young, so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, got with her friends, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, dude, that was all down. I love how young Tato speaks. He says, yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what about you, G? Um, me, um, so, let me actually think. Yo, actually, like, I've actually done a lot of evil in my day. <laughs> <laughs> so, let, let me, yeah, I've done a lot, bro. So, um, pick the most politically correct one. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I know. Um, you can see Okay, so, so the one that's, like, not an evil thing, like, it's just a personal thing. I used to, after, like, I don't know, it's always crazy. After every breakup, I always become, like, buff. Because, like, I always get in the gym and I'm mm. like, nah. And then, so mentally, like, like what also just pumpers me in the gym, man? I always be telling myself when I'm doing the set, I'm just like, nah, 
Like if I can't do this, if I can't do this set, I'm there. Like this is why she left. You oh my saying? god! Then I, then, I, then I always finish the set. Oh you know my brother, you're in a prison of emotion. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's that's if I can't do the set. It's like oh, mm. and then so what I've done like like you're like a black entertain Loki. Yeah, guy, like, not entertain. Like the, from the past two weeks of conversations, like I remember with the video we did on Esma Jita, the long stay in the car. Akunza talks himself out of like his he's, state he's self motivational, like, yeah. yeah. State of like maybe like fear, state of discomfort. He'll be like, everyone's going through this. You're not special. Like, just go through it. Yeah. This is gonna end. Yeah. You're just standing up. You, you, all you're doing is sweating. So like, he makes every small thing like seem like it's such a minimal. It's a minimal thing. thing. You're very self motivated. That's, yeah, that's the thing with every situation, bro. Like a lot of like when you're in stressful situation and stuff, sometimes it's not even that stressful. You just need yeah. to see it from like outside of yourself you know what i'm saying like let's say let's say like let's say like when i used to i haven't run in a while but when i was running it's that thing like yo this run it like it's, it's hard i want to start walking but yesterday i did the run as well and mm. afterwards i was fine you know what i'm saying so even though it's it's shitty now i'm gonna be fine later so it's just like ah dude just dug it out you'll be fine later you know what i mean yeah. so you just I'll need a, with every situation you realize yeah. that like it's shitty now but literally a week from or like years for however far you want to go years from now it won't even matter what i mean like you're gonna be there like oh funny you know what i mean honestly you have to understand also being friends of someone like this is horrible because i'll call him <laughs> crying and just be like bro like but your tears will be there tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and the day after that your tears will yeah. ultimately will dry up one day and you just have to take your like whenever i've been to he always tells me two things don't be a, a some a word <laughs> and be a man it's like it's like um, the black Andrew Tate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's very you know, you're very much like. Uh, anyways, but back on but to you have to be dog like yeah. Sometimes it's just like to be a man. What's the, like, dude? You very like you very much represent to the kids what a man should end up being like, right? What's yes. a man to you, bro? Like, what are you trying to teach these Ooh. kids? Like, what's a man to you, bro? For me now, like at the core of it, I'd say a man is someone that gets things done. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what it is, like, like for me to say someone is a man in my eyes, nah, if I give you, like, a task, nah, no matter how hard it is, nah, you are going to get it done. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like even though no matter how many obstacles, I'm like, yo, bro, I need this, get it done. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't get it done, it just means it couldn't have been done, no matter who did it. You know what I mean? So out of all your friends, who do you think is the biggest man? Based off of that, and, and that's a good, that's a good, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> like, one of your friends, maybe, out of Sia, <laughs> Tato. No, don't give him options. No, give no, him no, like all. Of, out of like the guys he chose with the most. Uh, yeah. no. yeah. out, of, out, out of out of the me, six. Me, Lebo, Sia, Percy, who else is there? Tinashe. Yeah, yeah. Who's would you say? Is so the with man? that, with y'all, yeah, it really depends on what the task is. But if it's like a majority so, of tasks. Okay, if it's if it's if we're not counting content creation type tasks, like nothing. Yeah, yeah nothing majority of tasks. I think Tina. I can't lie to you. Tinashe. Yeah, Tina like gets things done. Like, mm-hmm. like I know if there's a situation and Tina is there, nah, it'll, it'll be- <laughs> I don't know. 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 Tinashe t- 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 gets things done. Tinashe gets things done. I think the reason why you're saying Tinashe, and I agree with you, I think Tinashe is definitely like he gets things done. Mm. I just think that you guys obviously like you're starting the events company together, right? Oh yeah. So I'm you've been working so. closely with him for the past two weeks. I'm probably also talking he, from. He's obviously been in the industry of events and like yeah. just the entertainment space because he clubbed a lot mm. back in the day. So he just knows all the people that you needed. Okay, for your yeah. So I have recently. right now. I have your like bias. Recency bias. Yes. Recency bias. Ooh. That's why I so understand. Without that, now nah, I'd say. It would have to be level, Loki. What? I want to say, I want to say before before you answer, nah, so I actually kind of hear you with the Tina chat. Like, Tina gets things done. Like, if you have to, like, let's say I didn't know something. <laughs> Out of all of the people, like, who's m- most most likely to get that information fastest, it's probably be Tina. Tina. Yeah, it's probably true. Tina. He's a very good researcher. I want to say that. Yeah, I want to say that. He's, he's, yeah. he's well connected. Yeah, I'll say that. See, you're lost. But bless. Bro. Facts. You're lost. Facts. Lost. You're lost. <laughs> See, you're lost. Facts. Yes. That's your 100% last. facts. Say your last. Yeah. Like, if you, you can put me against impossible, something will come out, boy. Something will come out. It'll be a drop of water. It's also, but also, obviously, Tato, the reason I say that is because I'm with Lebo the All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. yeah, yeah. So, Cause, cause if you had to ask Lebo, Lebo would probably say me is yeah. the answer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, for a long time, <laughs> for a long time, back when, like, we were uh, last back when he was, <laughs> yeah, back when he was. Let's say it in front of him, bro. We said we don't say it in front of him. Nah, so. I'll tell him. So back when also like when we was a bit broke, you know what I'm saying? Like man, level. we knew, ne? We never thought like with, like not even on a money aspect spending wise. We just like when Tato's around, things will just work out. Like they'll be nah. Bro, yeah. I feel like every time I go to these guys, ne? Like 
I've seen them all lead their separate groups, you know? Yeah. Like, for example, you have, your other, you have your other friends. You're the leader in that group. Yeah. You too. Okay, I've never seen you. Oh, no, I've seen, no, I've seen him. him. I've, 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 I've never seen him. I've never oh, seen yeah, him. okay, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I can respectfully say these guys, these guys are all leaders in their groups. Now when we come into um, the group to, as us, we're all, the chamber of kings. Leaders, chamber of kings. These guys take a step back because they know <laughs> that I'm the most emotional in the group. So I'm on this... They're gonna like be like, yo, guys, let's fix this fast. And the they thing. can fix it, but they just they're like, you if see I the keep thing? quiet long enough, you know? yeah, yeah it's gonna fix it. Like there's, there's there's always that thing, right? It's that thing of like if if I mise it long enough, right? Someone is eventually going to like step up and, and sometimes it's, it's it goes reverse. Everyone's just mising me. I'm just like, fuck, let me do it. Yeah. But also I know in most situations it's like now, nah, if I mise it long enough, someone will be like, it's gents, let's fix this. Like they'll sort it out. Because when you lead, ne, you have all the problems are yours. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when there's no you, ice, you, it's you. When you told no, me that. You told me to take a step back. Yeah. I've been taking 10 steps back now. Yeah. Me, you always just take a step back. Someone will do it. And low-key, when it's your turn to do it, from the beginning, low-key, you know. Yeah. When it's you. You'll yeah. be like, when, oh, when, it, when it's your turn, you will feel it. Yeah, like, everything will it. line up to you, you just being... Just like, I know exactly what to do. So, so like with this perception, obviously, us all being African men and how we get embarrassed about this concept... Do you guys then believe in the Khutman mentality? Like there is a Khutman in each group. Or you just believe that in your friendship group it's a thing of we all just oh, the same. Squad level. leader. Yeah. I, I think, want to say, think, say squad I think, leader. I think most groups have Khutman. Yeah. But then I think our group consists of Khutmans. Yeah. 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 But also I think Chamber of Kings. I also think <laughs> yeah, <laughs> depending on the day and like what we're doing, somebody does it a bit more than everybody else. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Sometimes it will be like if we're in this situation, it'll be tattoo. If we're in this yeah. situation, it'll be level. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It'll be a bit more. It'll be balanced. Like, and not even like a lot more. It'll be like, okay, no, a bit more. Is that, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Think about like as Majita, bro. Those, these be, there were moments where, like, let's say in the beginning, you were full pressing at the most. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you took like a step back after like week one, week two. Yeah. And then I was pushing it alongside Percy. Yesterday. And then Percy and I took a step back. Yeah. And then now the past week and a half, Kunza's been pushing yeah. and saying, gents, let's get done. Yeah. So I think we just, we just take. We just yeah. take our turns. You can see. Like 100% of the time, it's tiring. Yeah. yeah. That's not nice. Yo. But friendship, obviously, being... Because you obviously collab with your friends. You make videos with friends. is a, is a huge aspect of your life, right? Yeah. In terms of, like, speaking about, like, how you perceive your friendships to be as you've been growing, as a content has been just been growing and you've been yeah. large following, you know, obviously you realign yourself. I think one thing I've noticed... I'll just add that onto the question. But one thing I've noticed about you really realign as popular as you get. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So when you realize, like, I don't know if I'm making sense. In terms of friendships? Yeah, so friendships. Saying, oh, yeah. as Hunter gets more followers, yes, he changes. He realizes, I want to so say changes, not, not changes, a lot, but like but you'll add on or so minus or... You know you know what happens, bro, what hurts? So like, obviously, y'all are like my fr main friend group, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas. And then... And niggas are watching at home with Right, <laughs> nah, nah, like, like it's facts, bro. But, but it's then, true. So now, obviously, like before, I was chilling with y'all niggas. I, I'm still friends with those niggas, but like we used to chill every weekend, like me and those niggas. Now yeah. we don't because it's so it's a number of factors, bro. Like it's it's life parts, bro. So keep in mind, um, I'm there doing content, like I'm self-employed basically, and they're in school. You know what I'm saying? So now. There's a lot of times where they'd link up together right after school. Like it's not like they didn't invite me. It's just a quick thing. Like they're like they were all at school and they're like, ah, boy, let's go eat. And mm. then it became a thing. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of those. And then on top of that, it's a thing of they're still in school. They're still getting allowances. Money wise, I'm way more out. Like we're not in the same mm. tax bracket. Mm. And that's that's something people don't talk about friendships. Like yeah. okay, you guys have to be in the same tax brackets because the things I want to do and I can do, it's tough when your friends can't do them. But if I'm randomly mm. right now, I'm like, yo, gents. Let's go to Cape Town, man. Like, if everyone was hearing it, we could do it. Yeah, now you feel bad for having money. You feel me? Like, yeah. And, and how painful that is. And you know how, how it becomes. So now you're at a place, you like things a certain way, man. And you have the money to make it, but, like, now the cost is times now, five on you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just one. And then, you know what I'm saying? So that's also, like, how you kind of, like, grow distance. It's no beef. Like, every time I see them, it's, it's like, it's vibes. It's like, yo, what's the, what are we, we, we chilling. But then you start growing apart because now it's like, ish. I want to go to a club with them, but then I know what might the happen. The cost is higher. The cost is higher for me. Okay. So, so you say, so you, you guys agree, money plays a big factor, not only in relationships, but in friendships too. Yes, no. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. So I think when I was, when I was speaking to Amo, actually, she was talking about like how we need to start speaking about how like our friendships should low-key be treated as relationships. I think I said this on the previous podcast as well. And it's like the same way like if you if you as a person want to go on like let's compare it to like relation you want to go on dates and etc but now your counterparts can't afford it you're ultimately no. losing the relationship and it's only because of what money yes. it's because right. of money 
So yeah, I've, I've been on the op- both sides, the opposite spectrum of like my friends make much yes, more I money agree. and I lose them I and I've made more money. Yeah. I agree with him. I was saying, ah, cause I was just like, you know what I don't like, bro? And we've spoken about this like just on the group chat. Yeah. Like with my guy friends, it's like, okay, cool. We're all going out somewhere. We're all putting the check. If yeah. we're three, three way. Yeah. But when you go out with your female friends, it's like, bro, they expect you to pay as if you're their boyfriend. Yeah. Right? It doesn't make sense. And it's so right. uncomfortable. And I find it so uncomfortable because I obviously I do this every single time. I'm always just like, obviously, bro, like, I'm not taking you out. It's like, yeah. you're our uh, equivalent to label in my yeah. eyes. So yeah. you two. And it's always, it's always you to pull your own way. It's, it's so always weird popping that question. Yeah. So are you paying for are you yourself? Paying yeah. And now it's like, 